Hey, everybody. You know, I keep promising myself that I'm going to wait until more stuff arrives because, well, usually it's just too uh, short for a video. I can hardly justify it if I'm only opening one package. But then I get impatient and then I get uh, curious and, well, I turn into that kid who sneaks down at midnight to open the presents early. Oh, well. So I'm going to open this and if other stuff arrives later, I'll post that video or like I'll uh, append that to this video. So let's see what's in here, shall we? You know, one of these days I'm totally going to cut myself with this thing and that'll be the video everyone remembers. Just you wait, it'll happen. So what have we got here today? A bad accent, apparently. You know, I always wished I had a cool accent. One of these days, maybe I'll make a video about the accent I have. Uh, like, it's it's not just generic American. I, I have sort of a remnant of New England going on. But anyway, let, let's see what's in here. Whoa. Okay. Cool. It's a Millennium Falcon. How awesome is that? I totally didn't expect this. Ooh, it's die-cast metal. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to be plastic. That's really nifty. Okay, uh, how do I open this without destroying the box? Oh, it's not even sealed. Good, 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 good. Oh, no, it is. It's sealed right there. Okay. Yay! I get to use the switchblade again. Okay. Uh, there we go. And then again on this side. Oop, well, destroying the box a little bit. Okay, I'll just put that down so I'm not flicking it open every time. It looks cool, it looks badass, but, well, like I said, I'll get myself hurt one of these days. Okay. And... Oh, it is plastic. I guess it's just die cast plastic. I was the every time I've seen die cast, it's been metal every time. So I just assumed, oh boy, that I, I can't seem to cut that. Um, oh, wow, well, it's got little twist ties. Okay, cool. Eh, sort of, I'm bad at these. I really am. They require knowing which way to turn them first, uh, that would be the wrong way. You know, the thing is, I think they put these going in two different directions. Yes, they did. That's why I'm having trouble. These shouldn't be that tough, but they, they seriously, like, they had it go in one direction and then in the other for no good reason. Wait a minute. Maybe it is metal. It's cold, like metal. It just sounded like plastic. Oh, hey, the landing gear goes. You can, yeah. Do the guns, yes, the gun turrets turn. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Okay, well, I'm going to have to put that next to uh, uh, Flynn from Tron and the... Um, Wedge Antilles figure I've got over there. And here we have another license plate. This is from the Blues Brothers. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the Blues Brothers because it's from like 1980, but it's a great movie. John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd and a bunch of other really famous people like Ray Charles and um, wow. You guys know that my epilepsy screws with my names. James Brown. That's the guy I'm trying to think of. But anyway, yeah. Uh, so this will go up on the wall with all of the others. Now, let's see. Is there a note in here? Uh, well, there's a whole bunch of... Ah, here we go. Oh, hey, there's a quote, too. Uh, so it says, there's 106 miles to Chicago. We've got a, a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. It's 106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. From Green Man Dave. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Green Man Dave. 
and that is everything, although there's packing material. Yeah! Isn't that fun? Well, anyway. <laughs> I'll catch you later, gang. Okay, gang, I've got some more. And I've also got a kitty on my lap who's getting the underside of her chin rubbed. She loves that. Anyway, so uh, some of this might be something my parents sent me and some of it might be something I uh, bought for myself. But let's see what happens. See, this one says it's from Vermont, which makes me think that it's from my parents. So let's have a look-see. Okay. And we'll get this here. This here. Uh-oh, kitten, run away. Yeah, she was uncomfortable. She's always uncomfortable when I move too much. It's a shame we haven't really connected much today. But, whoa, look at all of that packing stuff. There we go. And what on earth? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what my parents... I asked for some... Vermont maple syrup, because while they sell syrup here in San Diego, they even sell real stuff and not just the sort of fake Mrs. Butterworth's crap. This is the good stuff. So, yes, okay, and that's everything there. So, I will thank my parents on the phone instead of here, which... What the? Well, that's just weird. My phone started playing an MP3. Uh, it was a cover of a Roxette song, Roxette being my favorite band. Come on. All right, so what do we got in here? I don't know, because I don't remember getting anything this large listed on my wish list. What on earth do we have here? This is soak filter cups for tea, I suppose? I don't know. Huh. This is definitely not something I ordered for myself. It's kitty-shaped, so that's interesting. It does look like, I guess, what a tea bag goes in the fishy thing, I suppose. If I can figure out how to open it. Or can you open it? I don't know. Uh... Does this thing have an instru- no, it doesn't have instructions. Well, I'll have to figure that out at some point, I guess. It seems like- oh well. Interesting. Huh. Well, I do love cats, so whoever sent that to me- oh, well, here's the note. So, enjoy your gift from Frida the- all it says is Frida the- it, well, but it's also cut off here. So, okay. And there's a second one here that also says Frida the... And it's just as cut... Actually, no, this one's more cut off. Well, regardless. Thank you. And there's also Battleship, the movie. Now, I cannot remember whether I saw this or if I just saw the trailer, but... I have been on an alien invasion binge lately. Uh, I like I recently rewatched uh, Battlestar, not Battlestar Galactica, Battle Los Angeles, and I watched uh, oh, what is it, uh, Skyline, which was terrible. I mean, it seemed decent during the movie, but then all of a sudden, pfft, it just like cuts off. It wasn't even like a to be continued. It was just sort of like someone said, "Okay, that's it, done." And allegedly those guys were trying to make it into a series, but I think you don't end your first film that way and expect, expect people to want to see more. Anyway, uh, yeah, so thank you, Frida, for that. Excellent. And I'm going to stop this so we don't get that weird editing thing. I'll be right back. And we're back. Okay. Sounds like there's packing material in this. Who knows what it is? We'll soon see. Uh, didn't need the switchblade for that one. Well, that's not packing material, but what it is, looks like it's more kitty treats for Columbia. We still have uh, the, the other ones that I was sent, and this is a completely different brand. What do we have here? Ocean fish flavor and tempting tuna flavor. 
always with the seafood, apparently. Uh, Columbia was definitely a kitty, so she might like that, but uh, she also likes beef. Let's see, what is this? It looks like some sort of pin. And I think it's an A for it. Oh, you know what? We're just not going to try opening it that way. We're going to open it like that. It's easier. It looks like an atheist A is what it looks like. And yes, yes it is. Cool. <laughs> and okay, so who sent me this stuff? There's notes in here. We'll say thank you. For, oh, oh, here we go. Okay, these are actually, it says Frida the Kitty. Okay, that, that, that one's not cut off, so I can say a proper thank you. Frida the Kitty, thank you. Okay, and there's one more thing. One more. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. So, because I had a t-shirt. Actually, it's funny. I don't remember what it is exactly. I just know what uh, it is. That is to say, it's a t-shirt, but I forget which one I asked for. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. Yeah. This one. It says, when I was your age, the internet went skawee wee right? I, I don't know how many of you remember dial-up modems, but when you'd log on, uh, like, like when you were connecting for the first time, uh, I mean, it wouldn't do this all the time while you were, uh, like, like, using it, but when you first connect, it would make this funky sound. And, yeah, I, I, I don't even really know... Why? I guess modems, when they're connected to each other, they would say, uh, like, like, I guess they would make sounds back and forth and you only had to hear some of them. Oh, I should totally know who sent this to me because we actually discussed it, but it's not, it's not listed here. I, I want to say it was Marco, I think. Oh, I hate myself for not remembering this. That stinks. But... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Marco, so thank you. Thank you. Because uh, if I remember right, you're the dude from the Netherlands, right? Yeah. So anyway, that's everything that we have. Now, I'm going to have to put this on. I, first of all, I love the color blue, my favorite color. But also, I mean, I used to run a BBS back in like the late 80s, early 90s. And it was like, well, it was all pirated games mostly. Uh but that was when, like, downloading a single JPEG could take 10 minutes. It was crazy. Uh, I mean, I remember how cool it was when I got my 9600 baud modem. Woohoo! Yeah. So, that'll be fun to wear. Anyway, until next time, fellow space travelers. Rated, uh, unsubscribed. Oh.